Hello, wine lovers, and welcome back to Wine on a Dime. Or maybe today, a golden dollar. Today we're reviewing a sparkling wine. I'm super excited. I saw this and right away I knew I had to do it. It comes in this box that is shaped like a golden nugget. We, I'm trying not to shake it up too much because it is a sparkling wine. Um, <laughs> I'm reviewing today Blue Nun 24 Karat Gold Edition. Uh, Blue Nun has a special place in my heart. It reminds me a lot of my great aunt. Um, I didn't know her a whole lot growing up, but when I went to college, I went to college in the same town that she lived in, and she was a nun, <laughs> and I think at that point she was retired, but she definitely was a nun, and <laughs> my dad and I went over to her house for dinner, and she served blue nun wine, not this version, but the one in the blue bottle. I think it's a white blend, and she just thought it was so funny that she was a nun, and she was drinking blue nun wine. It was her favorite. Probably because it has none in the name. Um, so this one goes out to my late great Aunt Rafe. This one's for you. Blue Nun reminds me of you. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna open up this box. I feel like I'm shaking it up so much and it's gonna explode everywhere when I open it. Um, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so it comes in this box. Uh, which is really fancy considering how cheap it was. I bought this for $9.99 at HEB in Texas and the retail on this was around $14 or no the retail at HEB was $11.99 it was on sale but looking on the internet it was like between $12 and $14 usually and the cool thing about it not only does it come in this I can't get it out ah, slippery because I put it in the okay come on not only does it come into this this gold nugget box, but it has, I didn't notice this until after I bought it, it has like gold flecks in it. And on the website it says it's a sparkling wine with real 24 karat gold flakes in it. So that makes me a little nervous. I don't know how I feel about drinking gold, but uh, we're going to do it today. Um, this is a German wine. It's a German wine company. It's been around, it says right on the label, since 1957. It um, has some history of being owned by different people. I think in the late 90s it was sold and then the year after that they kind of introduced the, uh, the famous blue bottles that I mentioned earlier that my late great aunt Rafe used to enjoy. Um, yeah, I think we should just pop this open and and drink some liquid gold, right? Do I want to open it on camera because it might explode everywhere? Because I shook it up a bunch. We'll see, we'll see how things go. I'll just keep filming and then, you know, if it explodes everywhere, we all get to see it. Um, so what I do is when I open, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. I don't take the, uh, the cage off. I just kind of loosen it and I grab on to the top and I usually use a towel and then you kind of like spin the bottle around. This is how I like to it's about to come Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh it is it's not gonna explode too much. It's bubbling up though. Um, this makes sure that you you know you never want to shake a bottle of sparkling wine and then like try to like make it <laughs> have this fly somewhere that's dangerous to you and others. So that's how you should um, probably open the bottle wine. I feel like all the gold flecks uh, went down to the bottom. Let's see how this pours. Ooh, it's a quite fizzy, probably because I've been shaking it up. Let that die down a little bit. Um, I have no idea what kind of wine this is. Oh, I can see the gold flecks and the fizz. I'm guessing it's like some sort of like sparkling Riesling. It says on the website it said it used like a historical method of fermentation. So I'm not really sure what that means. That's pretty vague. 
we're gonna pour, pour, pour a big glass here. We'll put our 24 karat gold. The bottle's really nice. This looks really good for like $10. It comes in a gift box, it has gold flecks in it, and the bottle has like this dipped top in gold paint. Looks pretty fancy. Like if you were giving this to a host, they probably would have thought that you spent more than $10 on it. It's kind of a straw yellow color. It's very, very fizzy and definitely has some gold flex in it, which makes me a little nervous. So, cheers. Smelling it. It kind of smells like it has Chardonnay in it because it has a kind of like that crisp apple smell that you get with a uh, champagne. It smells like yellow apples, maybe a little bit of pear in there. Um, the website said this is a sweet wine, so I don't like sweet wines, but I'm trying it anyways. We'll see how it goes. So, cheers. Let's take a taste. Oh. It is sweeter. Like, it's not brute. It's not dry. It's probably like... Like, semi... Semi-secco. It's definitely not a dolce wine for sure. It's like kind of sweet. It definitely, I'm guessing, has Riesling in it. It tastes a lot like, <laughs> I, I say that because it's a sweet wine and I don't hate it and I usually it will like kind of like semi-sweet Riesling. And that's kind of what this tastes like is a sparkling semi-sweet Riesling. I taste some honey in this. Um, so it's kind of tastes like, like, green, maybe like yellow, yeah, the yellow apples with honey drizzles on top. That's kind of what it tastes like if you like dipped an apple in honey. That's what this tastes like. But definitely have more of a sour apple, not like a red delicious. This is quite good. I wasn't know, I didn't know what to expect. I did not know what to expect. <laughs> Um, I can't really taste the gold flecks going down, so that's good. I would consider this kind of a celebration wine. I'm not, I mean, it tastes like it would go good with, um, with cheeses and maybe some snacks if you were just kind of having like a cocktail hour. It's a little sweet maybe to pair with a dinner. Um, the website did say that it paired best with hors d'oeuvres, so um, I think they're a spot on there. I swear, as soon as I open this, all the gold flecks, oh, now they're kind of coming up, <laughs> went straight to the bottom. But it's only a $10 fancy gold fleck wine, so I guess you can't have, like, high expectations. But for a $10 wine, this tastes pretty good. It's better than a, like, uh, Cook's Champagne, which is, like, also $10. <laughs> I'll tell you that much right now. What would I rate this wine? Kind of like I said earlier, you get a lot of, it's very, has a nice look for $10 and it tastes pretty good for $10. Um, it is 11% alcohol by volume, by the way. Ugh. It's like a sparkling Riesling, I feel like. I don't, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me. It tastes like a sparkling Riesling. For what this is, I'm gonna give it a 4.9 out of five, and that's really high, but it looks nice. It has a gold theme. Definitely um, looks more expensive than it is, and it tastes more expensive than what it is, which is more importantly, um, the thing we're going for here. I feel like a lot of sparkling wines um, below like in the ten to five dollar range really miss the mark but this one is one of the better ones I've ever tasted so cheers to that would I pay full price for this would I pay fourteen dollars for this Ooh. Um, I think it's priced right around twelve dollars 
I think 14 is a little high, but uh, the retail price at HEB was like 11.97. So I would pay that. I'd pay 11.97, but for $10, I was really excited. I'm really excited. This was $10. Thanks for watching my review of Blue Nun 24 Karat Gold Edition Wine. Um, this is pretty good. If you have any requests or comments, questions, um, please leave them below. And we will see you next time on Wine on a Dime.